All right, Matt, it is time for another installment of At the Desk. I so loved the first one. I'm so excited for this. Yeah, this one's going to be hopefully equally as well because I have my buddy with me. Yeah. Uh, in a true spirit of Mother's Day, I got to talk with Nick Camino about being dads. Yeah, truly. We mm -hmm. talked about all sorts of things. His transition <laughs> from radio to TV, his first moments on air here, and how he really does credit his love for his incredible family back to his mom Aww. in his life. Take a look. All right, everybody, that's right. Thank you so much for joining us. Go ahead and have a seat. Yes, you too, have a seat, perfect. All right, thanks for joining us for our second edition of At The Desk with Matt Wentz. I'm Matt Wentz, I have a name tag in case you forget. Uh, let's start things off with a joke, shall we? All right, uh, my wife got really mad at me because I had no sense of direction. So I packed my things up and I write. All right, let's bring out our first guest, everybody. Uh, the one and only, my best friend, my pal, he's been in Cleveland sports for 17 years, believe it or not, from radio to TV. He's one of my best friends here at WKYC. You wouldn't even know it being on air. Just kidding. We have good chemistry. The one and only Nick Camino, everybody. <laughs> Nick, hey, buddy. Matt, it's great oh, to be with you. You wow. too. Oh, excuse me. You right. too. The yeah, ficus is really you, growing. It's you great. too. Go <laughs> ahead and have a seat. It is. So, 17 years in Cleveland sports. Yeah. Radio it's going TV. fast. Yeah. How did you get into it? And, I mean, my goodness, are you still as excited today about it as you well, were before? Yeah, I mean, the passion hasn't changed. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's so neat to be able to do this for a living in my hometown. I remember when you first came to WKYC, one of our first weekends together, you, me, and Lena, remember right. the, the set walking that oh, we did in front of disaster. each other? I'll again, we'll see you again in yeah, sports in a few. Thanks, Long. But it's not too early to get in on the fun today. Okay, bye, Nick. I have to tell you guys, that really broke the ice for me. Right. That really, it made me feel like, hey, listen, there's times where we need to absolutely be serious. We do serious mm -hmm. news stories. Um, sports, for the most part, though, is, is a lot of fun. So let's talk about your transition. So going from radio to TV, I mean, that's a decent transition, right? You're, you have lights, camera, you're worried about time cues and which camera to look at. How was that for you? Was it natural? The time. In radio, I was doing a three, four, five hour show. Right. And you're doing the prep for that show. <laughs> right. In TV, on sports, I'm getting three and a half, four minutes. <laughs> and it's like, wow, you know, this is this yeah. is a lot tighter. Yeah, we actually have footage of the first time that you transitioned from the radio to TV your first day. I thought you did a great job. Uh, hey, let's just take a look. Roll the tape. Welcoming you back. Nick Camino here with you tonight. Hope you're enjoying the weekend. Let's get started with sports. Let's open up the phone lines. 216-578. No, no, Nick, it's TV, you're on TV. What's that? You're, you're on TV right now. Oh, right now? It's not radio. What's, what yeah, is that? that was what great. That? Totally natural, you had everything you needed there, so very good, Nick, that's Where awesome. Where did we find that? So, so let's transition to, um, you're a dad, I'm a dad, right? Yeah. This is our vent time. I was gonna call this the dad show. Right, you've got two beautiful boys. I do. Rocco, yep. Giovanni. Yep. Uh, how old are they now? Uh, so Giovanni's three, Rocco's two. Unbelievable. Um, for you, what are the, I mean, I guess what are the joys of being a dad? I mean, oh, like what things have, don't people know about you that, you know, you really enjoy about uh, being a parent? I, I mean, I, I think just being able to, to do fun activities with your kids for the first time ever. You know, recently we did swim classes, yeah. you know, and you know, we're, we're teaching them how to swing a racket a little bit, you know, play some tennis, nice. throw a ball. Those are all things I remember doing with my dad. What stage are they going through? I mean, three and two, there's yeah. a lot of things they're going through both, right now. I'll tell you what, both are potty trained. Nice, right? Big good. shout out to mom on that. I helped a little bit, about 5%, <laughs> but uh, both but are potty cookies. trained, that helped. Yeah. I, I think the most challenging part is, you know, sometimes my wife and I, we, we have to balance each other on like, okay, who's gonna be looking for bad news? Who's gonna be the person that has more of the good news? You, during the pandemic, in your kitchen, that's right? right. I, that's we right. all remember the kitchen, everything was perfect. Spot clean, I, right? You know, they would toss to me, I'd have the playroom, it'd be a mess, stuff would be falling, <laughs> and then we'd send it out to Nick with the immaculate kitchen, it looked like your home was up for sale we every were... time. <laughs> I mean, it was like a Zillow kitchen. It's, People thought it was a green just, screen. You cook it all, or does it really don't do most of it? I don't, I mean, I'll stir the sauce, act like I'm adding a little right. pepper, a little salt <laughs> to jazz it up, but not much, I'm not much of a cook. Um, yeah. Marissa does a lot of it. She does. She okay. has used, what's really cool is she's taken a lot of my grandmother's recipes 
um, and, is, and has implemented them in our home, which is right. cool. My grandmother, uh, Rose, was born in Campo Basso, Italy. Uh, my dad was born there as well, so I'm still first generation. Of awesome. Which is cool. um, so she uses a lot of you know, my grandmother's recipes and her mom and my mom as well, which is which is cool. So um, you know, I want to test your Italian heritage and okay. your, your taste testing. I know you know this isn't an Italian kitchen by any means. <laughs> Uh, but I, I have a little test for you. We've got some real cheap pasta sauce at the grocery store, okay. and we got some real expensive pasta sauce. So I want you to taste test. It's all safe, I promise. There's no okay. tricks. I want you to taste test, and we're going to go through and see if you can identify the real good pasta sauce from the maybe not so good. Pasta. Okay. Sound good? That sounds good. All right. Good. Join me over so, here right, in the kitchen. Here we go. All right, so Nick, this is what we've got. Uh, this is it, huh? I've got some top of the line and bottom of the line pasta sauce, okay? okay? So I need you to use your Italian instincts and tell me which one are more expensive. So I've got 99 cent, 299, 5.99, 8.99, 11.99. You were to taste test these, I promise they're safe, and you're gonna label them. If you get them right, you get an at the desk pencil. Okay. Yeah. That is not that good. It's not bad, but I have a feeling it's cheap. Flavor notes? Um, a little, little onion. That's not bad. Uh, no. Let's see how you did. All right, uh, first one, $8.99, that's our $5.99 sauce. Oh, okay. So that's not bad, you were close. 99 cents, this was actually a straight up ketchup and ranch that I mixed together Brutal. upstairs, so we didn't even pay for that. I found that in the set. $2.99, you got it. Okay. Awesome. $8.99, ooh, a little bit off on that. Not too bad. This was your expensive one down here. Really? This last one, right, $11.99. It was good, it was good, it was good. Sauce. Nick, I think overall, I think you're still Italian. I did all right, I think right? you can determine that for sure, so. Uh, I can't believe you made me try this. <laughs> well, I found that upstairs. That's why it's in a different dish, but it's literally straight that, up. It's been fun. You're the best. You too, buddy. Thanks for joining you. me Great on the you. show. You. Uh, you were awesome. And uh, join us next week for Great another to be here. At The Desk. Great to be here. Oh, man, Nick is just such a buddy. You can just tell he's just a pal. Give him a follow. He's on Twitter at Nick Camino WKYC, and you can watch this full conversation on our website, WKYC.com.